Hi there, uh, new ASMR friends. I hope you're doing well today. Oh, these are so good. Um, so various for today's video. I am at Aldi and I'm just going to be doing a little bit of a store ASMR. So I hope you guys like these. <laughs> Um, these, if you've never had these, they are cinnamon streusel coffee cakes, and they are so good. They have like this really sugary, sweet top to them. It's almost like brown sugar, and the cinnamon swirls. They are to die for. So delicious. And I've never been much of a honey bun lover. Um, I know they're really popular and a lot of people really like them. Uh, but I've just never tried them. I heard that they sell a lot of these, um, you know, in jails and stuff. So it, I've never been um, to, well, <laughs> Yeah, I've never been to prison or anything like that, but um, these don't have a lot of nutritional value to them, but uh, looks like a lot of sugar and whatnot. <laughs> and then I also think my family enjoys these. They, we um, get these sometimes. These are just the Danish pastries. Not a huge fan. Oh, but these look good though. Do you see these? Look, these ones are the cheese Danish pastries. Yum. Oh my God, these look so good. Made with real cheese. So I am assuming it would probably be similar to like a cream cheese flavor. And those ones look actually pretty good. But <laughs> Oh, cherry cheese. Oh my gosh, they have all the goodies here. Apple, cinnamon. These remind me of childhood, right? Um, these oatmeal cream pies. They're so good. Look, there's a little Debbie. <laughs> and they're individually wrapped cream pies. They also kind of remind me of those Star um, Crunch or they don't remind me of them, but it takes me back also to childhood whenever I see these, these, and then those um, other Spark Crunch um, Little Debbies. So, but, uh, so I'm here trying to just, um, stay out of uh, everybody's way because, you know, uh, I want to maintain a respectful distance from other people and it's not too crowded here tonight, so that's good, but, uh, you know, I just want to be respectful and my mom is here with me she's shopping she's grocery shopping but um, I want to I'm just here filming so I want to make sure that I'm a kind of staying out of the way of grocery shoppers so <laughs> some dog treats here you know which dog treats my puppies love these Beef sticks. Mm -hmm. And they are upset. Let's see what we have. Let me show you what's with this on the shelf here. This is what they look like. And both of my dogs love these. Um, I have a little. 
terrier dog and then I also had a um, German Shepherd mix with the St. Bernard and so I also have the big dog and they both really, really love these. I also have these bacon treats, which they don't um, enjoy those quite as much. But and uh, I've never tried their dog biscuits from here, but I wouldn't be opposed to trying them. <laughs> you know, for my puppies. So. There's my mom down there. <laughs> She's got her mask on, so. Uh, what is this? Vitamin C. Oh, you guys, vitamin C. I read online that it is really good um, for not only anti aging properties, but also in fighting off disease. So, my mom actually taught me that whenever I was really young, that. Um, if you drink, you know, plenty of orange juice or eat plenty of fruit with lots of vitamin C in it, and that you can, it will help boost your immune system. So, <laughs> oh, these are the best vitamins. Um, they are, they have the, um, sugar coating on them. I don't know if it's really actually sugar or not, but um, I don't think I've had the elderberry kind, but I've had other vitamins similar to those, and they've just come such a long way. Am I right? <laughs> this is the shampoo and conditioner that I usually use, Pantene. It's only three dollars and sixty-four cents uh, at Aldi, but um, it just is what works best for me usually. Pantene because it's just you know kind of inexpensive, and I don't do the two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. I usually get the shampoo and the conditioner. So. But yeah, it's right around dinner time, so I'm wondering, um, that's probably why there aren't a ton of people out shopping, out and about. <laughs> so. organization here. My mom taught me that um, because she said that it just worked better. And now the older I get, um, either I don't sweat as much or I'm not, my hormones aren't so out of whack um, that women's deodorant works just fine for me. But pro tip. <laughs> If you sweat like a man <laughs> and you're a woman, uh, you can use men's deodorant. Oh wait, doesn't that mean, doesn't that mean like 
Yay, I learned something in Spanish. I took Spanish uh, a long time ago. Whenever I was in high school. And I loved it. I really enjoy um, learning. Especially whenever it comes to uh, you know, other people's cultures and things like that, so. Ooh, this lotion smells really good. This is the lotion that I use sometimes. It's that essential healing Vaseline intensive care lotion. It smells really nice. So if you're looking for a good lotion, check it out. Oh look, it's a cocoa radiant cocoa butter. I also love the um, Palmer's cocoa butter lotion. But look, it's on sale for $2.98. So that's only two dollars and ninety-eight cents. <laughs> what do we have here? With these little oh, they're training pants. <laughs> so cute. Oh, I almost feel like I should um, put them on camera just because you know they're cute and everything, but. Thick and quilted baby Okay, that's cute. Got some little organic apple pear broccoli baby food puree. Oh, and then we got a little little baby. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look at this way. So they have some Easter stuff out. <laughs> what is this? I just think of the Little Mermaid whenever I see Ariel. <laughs> Wash your bra. It's a two piece set. So you can wash your bra and uh, you don't have to worry about them getting destroyed by your washing machine. Wow. <laughs> what a concept, right? <laughs> Still have their face masks that they're selling. Um, we get our face masks from here, or we did. We have them, and the cloth masks, for whatever reason, these cloth masks make it hard. Um, whenever I'm working at all, whenever I'm at the gym, it's hard to work out with a cloth mask because it's kind of just like breathing with a wet cloth over your mouth. So. Isn't it? 
I mean, it's just like, people are just, you know, so sick lately and I just hope and pray that our community is can get healthy again and back on track because Kind of a scary time for a lot of people, so. Oh, what's this? Oh wow, it's the best. Is it, what is this? Is this just like a protective vest or what kind of, it says it's a fitness vest. Hmm. Take a look. Why would you need to wear a vest if you're working out? Who would need to wear a vest like that? Hmm. This guy does. I don't blame him though. I would want him probably. Oh, let me. I don't know. I don't know. I would need to know what the vest is being used for. Does he wear it whenever he comes to the gym? Or oh, it's the sauna vest. Okay. Sauna vest. Oh, so here, let's see what it does. Okay men's size, men's medium, helps remove excess water weight from the body while exercising, can help increase core body temperature, elastic material for a perfect fit. Okay, so it looks then like um, it's just used to kind of help speed up the um, sweating process or either to capture or catch any of that sweat that uh, might be dripping whenever you're sweating, so. They have Easter eggs <laughs> for sale. because we have Easter coming up. Ooh, what are these? Oh, these look so good. What is this? Plain and dark chocolate coated vanilla and cocoa wafer eggs. Oh, they look so good. Mmm. And it just looks like they're, it comes with two different kinds. <laughs> Vanilla and cocoa. So it's a cute little mix. And one serving size is three wafers. Look at this cute little um, bunnies. Milk chocolate bunny bar. Ooh, it's, there's like a heater or something near me. Surprise, eh? Ooh, 
cake filled with European assorted chocolate. Oh, so what's the difference? They have bread. This one is surprising. With milk, okay, so with milk cream filled truffles inside a milk chocolate egg. looks like. And then, who are we working with over here? And, what comes in the inside of this one? Ooh, fancy. <laughs> and this is the red one. Delicious. Delicious. love these chips of white cookies. I personally love the like crunchy cookie over the chewy. <laughs> what about you guys? Original or chewy? Okay, and we have some Oreos, but they're thin. They're very thin. Mm. Any of these are. I don't think I've ever um, tried these really skinny Oreos, but oh, that's because these aren't Oreos, these are Bentons. So they're kind of like a different version of the Oreo. <laughs> we have a Benton um, here in Kansas City, a street called Benton. But look how, look how skinny that crack is. Mm -hmm. percent less sugar so I wonder then if these are um, healthy or not it looks like they're just mini muffins just little mini muffins for the kiddos <laughs> so if you want to have the kids on these, it looks like there's 33% less sugar, so you don't have to worry about them. Um, you know. Mm -hmm. These look amazing. Yeah, it's a mini chocolate sandwich cream. Dipped in fudge. This one back here. Let's see what this one is. Let's see what we can, can reach back here. These are mini peanut butter sandwich creams. Yummy. It all looks so good. <laughs> Ooh, double stuff. Oh, they do sell Oreos. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it looks like then that was just um, a different version. These are the mint flavored cream Oreos. I don't really like my um, chocolate or sweet stuff with mint. 
What do you think? Not for me personally. It's not not really my my get up. <laughs> I've been eating a lot of tuna lately. <laughs> and it's so good and healthy for you. Wow. Oh, what is this? These look like this. You know the spicy noodle that uh, challenges that you see the YouTubers doing. But these don't really look super spicy. They're just the Japanese home style noodles. Do you guys like uh, artichoke hearts? <laughs> Ooh, these look good. This looks kind of like a healthy trail mix. Mmm, <laughs> I love trail mix. This one has almonds, dried cranberries, and dark chocolate with raisins and walnuts. But then we also have this one. Almonds, walnuts, Raisins with dried cranberries, hazelnut, and pecans. Oh my gosh, this would be so addicting. <laughs> I'd probably get so. Uh, addicted to these, they look so good. I probably couldn't stop. Once I got my hands on a bag of these. <laughs> yeah. I love Aldi because uh, they just are always kind of switching it up, you know, with what they have on sale. And I love adventure. Who doesn't love adventure? You know? But you know what they say, curiosity built the cat, right? So you gotta be mindful um, with your curiosity because you don't want to go overboard, right? <laughs> Speaking for me from experience anyway. <laughs> okay. And ooh, what's this? What are those little crystal things in here? Is that edible? I wonder what's what is that? It kinda looks like ice. 
It says cashews, dried cranberries, dried pineapple with almonds and macadamias. Are those? Is that a dried pineapple? Or what is that? Hmm. It just looks like a little crystal or something. Maybe it's just a dehydrated pineapple. I'm just wondering who in their right mind would want to do that to a pineapple. I am so grateful that you guys stuck around to watch my little ASMR shopping trip. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And uh, yeah, I'll see you.